Hello, this is LeVar Henry with KingHenryGames.com and this is Race for the Kingdom. In this video, I will go over Race for the Kingdom components, setup, and how to play the game. Race for the Kingdom components. Game board, four terrains. The Race for the Kingdom boards are the terrains in which players move on. These terrains are made up of four individual boards that are randomly placed and then connected at the start of the game. The terrain movement zones are either buildable terrains marked 1 through 24 or effect zones that give actions. All player tokens start at Zion and move clockwise around the connected board zones until the game has a winner. Decks There are four Race for the Kingdom decks. Each deck is unique from one another. The red 30 faith deck is high risk and high reward. The purple 60 faith deck provides player movement and targets your opponents. The black 100 faith deck provides hand management and protection. The fellowship deck allows you to build the kingdom of God and acquire God cards. Faith cards have gold frames. Fellowship cards have silver frames. Normal faith cards. Normal faith cards have no symbol in the top right corner. These cards are only played during an owner's own turn and cannot counter other cards or spaces. Anytime cards. Anytime cards have an arrow up symbol. Arrow up cards can be played at any time, even on your opponent slash teammates turn, and can counter cards in certain zones on the board. Must play cards. Must play cards have an arrow down symbol in the top right corner. Arrow down cards are uncontrollable and must be played as soon as they are received. Fellowship cards. These cards have fellowship written on the top of them. They are only played during the owner's own turn. These cards build churches on territories your player token is located on and they can release other players in long suffering by discarding two fellowship cards. Also, you can discard three fellowship cards to draw once from any one deck. Church Symbol Cards These type of cards can only be played when the owner is on any territory that has a church. Player Board and Gifts Player boards are picked during a setup phase. These sheets tell each player their special gifts and allow players to track their role count for long suffering repent usage, and limited gift usage. Player board markers. These are used to mark the three different tracking areas on the player boards. Marker colors should match your church colors. Dice. Players use two six-sided dice to move tokens around the board to different zones. Player tokens. These meeples or pawns represent the different players playing the game, their location, and color on the board. Players pick one of two options. Kingdom Churches. These building symbols represent a player's exclusive territory on the board. Each player slash team has a distinct color, gold, red, purple, or white. There are 12 playable kingdom churches per color. When a player's kingdom develops, their stacked churches gain additional effects called ministry levels. Race for the Kingdom Setup Step 1. Set Boards and Cards Randomly connect the four Race for the Kingdom boards and align them properly so that the player tokens can move in a circular pattern around the boards. Then put the 30, 60, 100, and Fellowship cards face down in their respective zones by color. Step 2. Player Seating Players sit around the boards and choose to play either teams or all for one style of play. In team play, the seating is every other team member. Third step. Pick tokens and colors. Each player picks up their color matching player token, 12 kingdom churches, and three player board markers. Teammates share the same color and kingdom churches. Fourth step, victory conditions. Pick how many full stacks of churches on one territory 
win the game. One through four stacks are the options. Playing with two full stacks is normally recommended. Note, one full stack of churches equals three churches on one territory. Step five. First player is the dealer. Establish the starting player by rolling dice. The player with the highest roll goes first. Step six, turn order. The player's turn orders are clockwise from the starting player who is also the dealer. Step seven, dealer options. For beginners, each player is randomly dealt one player board and three 100 faith cards. For advanced players, the dealer draws three 100 faith cards per player, looks at the cards and sorts them in any order. The sorting must be done in groups of three. Step eight, hands and gifts. This step is only for the advanced dealer option. Players pick their hands and player boards in the opposite order of their turn position. The last player to have a turn is the first player to pick their cards and player board. The cards are viewable to all players. Ninth step, start at Zion. All player tokens start at Zion. Then each player puts their player boards in front of them. Next, each player places their three player board markers on the far left numbers for game tracking. Lastly, all players hide their hand of cards and start the game. Playing the game. Step one, start the game. All players with effects that happen at game start resolve their effects. Examples, gift of leadership, gift of mercy, and the 100 faith card, the gift of creation. Then begin playing the game with the starting player taking their actions. Step two, actions each turn. Roll and move, use cards, use limited gift. Using two six-sided dice, each turn has one mandatory normal roll and move action of the turn player's player token. The turn player can also play an unlimited amount of available cards from their hand and or use their eligible player board limited gift up to its limit. Remember, fellowship cards have limitations when building on territories. These turn actions can be used in any desired order on the turn player's own turn. When a player is done with their turn, they pass the dice to the next player. These steps are repeated each turn until the end of the game. Step three, check cards and zones. Play cards based on a written action. For example, fellowship cards build churches on a territory your player token is located on once per turn and once per time you land on a territory. Also, when you roll and land on an effect zone like Promised Land, those areas have special actions. Read all activated cards and zone actions out loud. Step 4. Become a Bishop Before you can place multiple churches on a territory, you must become a bishop by acquiring fellowship cards and building churches on three different territories marked 1 through 24. You can acquire fellowship cards by trading cards on the altar, landing on the Mount of Olives, or circling the entire board and passing Zion. Step 5. Build the Kingdom. Start Stacking. Once you become a bishop, you can start building churches on the same territory zones you already have a church. This is called stacking. Try to land on your established territories to use fellowship cards and build stacked churches. The most one territory can have on a single zone is three churches. Players cannot build on territories that already have an opponent's church. Ministry Levels When a player or players develop their kingdom by setting up multiple churches and stacks on a single territory, 
two or three churches on one zone, they gain new effects for their stacked territories. These effects are called ministry levels. Here are the kingdom development ministry levels. Ministry level one, offerings. Achieve one stack or more. If a player lands on an opponent's area with two or more churches, which is considered stacked, they give the owner of those churches a card from their hand, but they draw one 30 faith afterwards. If the player landing has no cards to give, they still draw their 30 faith card and keep it. Ministry Level 2 Worship Achieve two stacks or more. If the owner of a territory has two sets of stacked territories or more, the owner receives one 100 faith card whenever the owner lands on their own stacked territories. Ministry Level 3 Double Portion Achieve three stacks or more. If the owner of a territory has three sets of stacked territories or more, they receive one extra card from opponents landing on their stacked areas. Ministry Level 4 Archbishop Achieve four stacks or more. In addition to the other ministry level effects, if a church owner owns four sets of stacked churches or more, the church owner can build a church anywhere they are eligible to build when their opponent lands on their stacked areas. Ministry Level Notes When using the Gifter Leadership Player Board, the owner or teammate is plus one in ministry levels for leadership's unlimited gift. Therefore, this effect enables the owner to gain the next best ministry level effect in addition to their current ministry level benefit. Step 6. Play until victory. Circle the board until a victory condition is met. There are three victory conditions. Kingdom expansion. Place all 12 churches in play. Kingdom development. Stack three churches on a chosen number of territories. Kingdom rapture. Hold in hand three out of the four God cards. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. I will be doing a full walkthrough of playing a game of Race for the Kingdom at KingHenryGames.com. Check out my next video.